I'm going to give this about a one inch sort of ruffle or trim piece. It'll become clear when I put it on there. Clay is fairly soft. There's a lot of joining that's going to happen and so I really like to use soft clay um, because I can get really secure um, attachments. Ideally stiffer clay might be better because I could sort of um, flip it over quicker. I could um, get an idea about how it's going to look a little quicker. Um, but I think that it's better to spend a little more time with the soft clay and, and have it dry longer than risk the um, attachments not being as secure. So now I'm going to attach these little trim pieces onto the underside of the cake plate. So that, just so you all know, where the cake is going to be is actually down here where the banding wheel is, if we were to think about it that way. So I've got one of my score marks and I'm going to score both of these slabs here on the side so that they're ready to go. Another nice reason for using this softer clay is that I don't need to slip and score. I just merely score because it's so soft that by the time I really squish everything together, it's gonna stay. So I'm just trying to match up these edges real nicely. It'll keep things round and even. And while I'm pinching, I'm pinching sort of, I try to pinch rhythmically um, with the same amount of pressure all the way around so that if this slab rises at all, it all rises at the same rate. And why I work with clay and not wood because when you come up short, you just stick some more clay on there. I cut on 45 degrees so that my attachment has more surface area. It's a stronger attachment. Scoring those edges. And I'll cut each of these to match. And <clears throat> I'm folding over too, so that they're not only butting up against one another, but they're also um, really being squished and sandwiched. Squishing that seam together. And I'll go back around one more time just to make sure it's all well attached. What I'm going to do is scallop this edge and I will make some marks to give myself some guidelines and I'll use the corners of this board to guide me so that things are relatively even but they won't be perfect, which I prefer. And now I'm going to take this tool that I got in Japan, which um, I think is great for making these cuts. Um, it gives a little gesture to the cut. I'm also going to put a mark so that I know how far to go down. So. Now I just need to soften up all these little burrs on the outside. The barely damp sponge sandwiched in between my two fingers. Okay, I'll clean up the rest of that when um, it's closer to bone dry. Okay. 